This is Nobet Shikerema. He committed one of the worst murders in recent UK history. But what drove him to such a violent act? And what was the motive behind his savage crime? Nobet Shikerema is a Zimbabwean-born man who grew up in Murewa, National and East. He grew up in a broken home and he lived alone with his siblings while his father worked in the city. He grew up and married Nyashaka Hari in 2002 and they had four beautiful children together. They both relocated to the UK and started a care home business as nurses in 2015. They lived in a house in Overdale Road in Quinton and they seemed like a normal couple. Behind closed doors, Shikerema was harboring a very dark secret. He was convinced that his wife was having an extramarital affair and he became obsessed with finding out the truth. He became paranoid and suspicious and started to monitor her phone calls, her texts and her social media accounts. He accused her of seeing other men and even hired a private investigator to follow her. He became increasingly controlling and abusive and threatened to kill her if she ever left him. On the 29th of January 2017, the private investigator that he had hired showed him a video of Nyasha meeting another man whom he knew and he lost his temper. He then sent the video to some of his relatives. In a fit of rage, he also bought an axe which he kept in his car and planned to use it to kill his wife and her supposed lover. On that night, Shikerema and his wife left their home, telling their children they were going out on home visits as part of their care business. The couple visited a number of their patients, leaving the last one at 11 p.m. Shikerema then drove his wife to various locations where he believed she had met her lover. He confronted her and demanded that she confess. After an argument, he stuck her 30 times with that ex, inflicting multiple wounds to her head and to her body. Shikerema then drove to their family home, covered his wife in a blanket and chased his bloodstained clothes. He went and attacked the cars of two men he thought were seeing his wife behind his back with an ex and eventually drove to Lidi supermarket in Marktown where he parked his car in the car park and called the police at around 4 a.m sitting in his driver's seat. He waited for the police to arrive and when the police arrived, they found him sitting in the driver's seat and his wife's body next to him. He was arrested on suspicion of murder and taken to a police station. During the interrogation, Shikerema confessed to killing his wife but claimed that he was out of a sound mind when he did it. He said that he was often suffering from mental health problems and that he heard voices telling him to kill his wife. He pleaded not guilty to murder on the grounds of diminished responsibility. Stephen Davis, District Crown Prosecutor with West Midlands Crown Prosecution Service said, this was premeditated killing where the defendant had taken weapons with him to the scene and used them to commit the crime. The prosecution argued that Shikarema had acted with premeditation and malice. There was no evidence to suggest that to the man that she had met was a boyfriend and that he had shown no remorse for his actions. They presented evidence that Shikarema had planned to kill his wife that night and that he had taken the ex out in the car with him. They also showed that Shikarema had no history of mental illness and that he had not sought any help for his condition. The jury agreed with the prosecution and found Shikerema guilty of murder after a two-week trial at Birmingham Crown Court. He was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 22 years. The judge, Justice Jeremy Baker, said that Shikerema had committed a horrific and brutal murder and that he had deprived his children of their mother. He said that Shikerema had acted out of jealousy and paranoia and that he had shown no genuine remorse during the course of the trial. The family of Nyashaka had released a statement after the verdict saying that they were devastated by her loss and that they hoped that Shikerema would rot in jail. They described her as a loving, caring, hardworking woman who had dedicated her life to her family and to her work. They said that she was the glue that held us together and that they would never forget her. The ex-murderer of Quinton is now behind bars, but his crime will haunt the lives of his children forever and his family and community will never forget the horrific crime. He killed his wife in a fit of rage and tried to escape justice by lying about his mental state. He failed to realize the truth would always come out and that he would have to face the consequences of his brutal act.